Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. Next on the list of stories is Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Uh, Rapunzel starts out with her parents, um, a husband and a wife, and they want to have a kid. They want to have a kid, and they live in this house where there, there's a window in the back of the house that overlooks a garden. And it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful garden. It's not their garden. It's the neighbor's garden. And the neighbor is an evil witch that everybody's afraid of. As, you know, his customer. <laughs> um, and for some reason, the wife, she's like, well, there's a, there's a beautiful, delicious, I don't... R- ramping. Ramping. It's a wild flower that people put in their salad, that people can put in your salad. She had a hankering for, for some ramping, and um, she she said, I, I guess, like, it was really bad to the point where she's like, I'm going to die if I don't get some of that flower that goes in my salad. So he goes over there to that garden uh, and steals up some rampine for his his uh, not dying wife. Not dying, but very his hormonal. Brain. So she eats the the rampine that her husband got for her, mm-hmm. and, and she's not satisfied. She wants yeah, more. She more. She's like, oh, that was delicious, but now give me more, or I'm going to die. Yeah, and uh, he goes goes next door, and and the the evil witch, the wicked scary witch, pops out and spooks him, and he and she's like, uh, "What are you What are you doing? I saw you steal my. Sh-. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you." And he tried to stop her and cried out, and he was like, "No, really, I'm the only reason I'm here is because my wife." Will die. She will die. She needs this rampine. Please have mercy on me. It's not my, it's mm-hmm. my not my doing, and I apologize. Uh, and uh, she said, "Well, I'll go ahead and you know, I'll give you a, a deal. You can you can go ahead and have all the rampine you want, but I." I'm going to uh, have your firstborn child, the child that's actually already being grown in your wife. You don't know this, but your wife's about to have a child, and I, now that child is mine. He was like, "Yeah, I'll, um, I, sure." I well, he's scared, so and I mean, he didn't really think about what he was agreeing to, but he said, "Sure, I'll, uh, yeah." Can, as long as I can get that that rampine to my wife, uh, sure, she goes away. And the couple months later, so she has a baby, and the witch comes and takes the baby. Yep. And which is like she'll be so loved and all of this, and and the baby grew up into a little, little toddler, and then grew up again, and. This child was just like the most beautiful child ever. So she grows up and she's way too beautiful to be out in the world, according to her new uh, step or her new mother, mother, evil witch mother. So she locks her up in the in a in a tower. Boom, magic hocus pocus. You have a yeah to stay in this tower, um, and then she stays up there for years. Mm-hmm. Years and uh, I guess the whole time they didn't have scissors because she never trimmed her hair. She just has such long, beautiful hair that people climb it, <laughs> which made her hair real long so she could climb up it. And she goes to the tower and she says, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down 
on your hair. And she did. And then she would let down her 20 L's of hair. An L is a unit of measurement. Her hair was like spun gold. Daily, the, the witch would call on Rapunzel to visit her. That's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Especially for an old witch lady to climb up that hair every night. Tangled, she brushed the hair and sang, mm-hmm. and it would keep her young. For years, climbs up the hair. And, and she sings, so she, she uh, to pass the time, she sings. Because for years, she's up there and... Mix up songs, <laughs> talks to birds, sings. She's in the tower and she sings, and one day when she's singing, there's a, a prince that's in the woods walking King's around. Son. He hears this voice singing, and it's so beautiful, and he has to find out where the where it's coming from. So he listens, and and then all of a sudden he sees this tower, and he sees this witch walk up to the tower and say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. She sees her let down her hair, and the witch climb up, and he was like, well, I this voice is so beautiful, I have to see the woman that it belongs to. And so then he's like, if this witch can get up the tower, asking Rapunzel to let down your hair, then I'm going to try it too. But he mimics the old lady. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. So yeah, he mimics her and and then climbs up the hair of this stranger. (laughs) And he gets up there and it frightens her because of course gets up there and she she freaks out but then he says you're beautiful and I just I want you to be mine please be mine my wife let me or go away with me and she's like okay uh, but I can't leave right now because she can't because she can't get down her own hair. So she asks him to bring back some silk, a bunch of silk. We'll just go ahead and say maybe silk cloths or something like okay. that. And tie them together and gradually she'll make a, a ladder. And he goes up at night and the witch goes up during the day. Um, and then one day, Rapunzel's with her witch, with her mom, witch mother. She lets it slip that her mom is fat, basically. Yeah. She's like, so, mother, uh, you, you, you actually feel a lot heavier on my hair than a the prince skin? does. She's like, why are you fatter than <laughs> the prince that climbs up my hair every night? And uh, she's like, what? 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 <laughs> That's, I, what? Are you crazy? Who's the prince? Who's the prince? Yeah, all this. She's yelling at her. She's freaking out. And then she cuts off her hair. Takes the scissors that she conveniently made. And then she wraps her her hair around her arm twice. And then cuts off the whole length. Whole 20 L's or 75 feet of hair. She banishes Rapunzel to the wilderness to live off of her misery and her grief. She goes back to the tower because she knows that prince is coming because Rapunzel said, or why is it so heavy for when you climb up my hair when this man that's going to be here? In like, you know, an hour. Soon, it's not as heavy. So when the prince comes and he tells Rapunzel to let her hair down, the witch tosses down the the hair that she had cut off Rapunzel Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and holds it on the other up in the tower. And then the, so the prince climbs it. You know, he doesn't, it's a tower 75 feet up. You can't see who's up there. So he didn't think anything when the hair dropped. It's normal. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. That's what happens. And then he climbed through the window and he saw that it was the witch and that wasn't Rapunzel, and the, and the witch told him, Ah, you have come to fetch your lady love, <laughs> but the pretty bird is no longer in her nest. <laughs> 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 
And she can sing no more for the cat seized her eyes. It will scratch your own eyes out too. <laughs> Rapunzel is lost to you. You will never see her again. And that basically means that um, she's cursing him. <laughs> and he's so sad and distraught that he just uh, decides to kill himself. And jumps out the tower. But he did not die. But he does not die. Yeah. Instead, his his eyes got scratched out by the thorn, so now he's blinded. So it's like they, uh, like she said would happen. Now he's just blind, wandering around in the wilderness for years. He, and he's newly blind, so for years he's wandering out in the wilderness, surviving somehow, uh, figuring out how to be blind. Fortune fell upon him, and he heard the singing of his fair, fair uh, Rapunzel. And uh, recognized it to be her. She cried on on his neck. Um, They fell. Her tears go into his eyes to fix them. Tears into his eyes. He's not blind anymore. And then, since he had his eyesight back, he knew where his home was. And he took her to his kingdom. And they were received with joy. And lived. Long and happily ever after. The end. Close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.